Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode six of the Ultimate Cybersecurity Lab Project. So in episode one, we built our PFSense firewall, Kali Linux, Docker, and Portainer. In episode two, we built all our vulnerable VMs and containers. Then in episode three, we built Wazoo and Nessus. Episode four, we built Caldera and Security Onion. Episode five, we built our Windows 2022 domain controller. We added the domain services, DHCP and DNS. We also built a Windows 10 workstation and we added that to the domain. Episode 6, which is today's episode, we are going to build the Hive and Cortex. If you want to follow along with this lab, then go back to episode 1, follow the lab all the way through. We have one more episode after this one to complete the base build of the lab, and that will be us connecting it to the cloud. So for today's episode, our primary objective is to get the Hive and Cortex up and running. To install the Hive, let's go to the hive-project.org. In case you didn't know, the Hive is a 4-in-1 incident response platform. And um, once you're on their website, just browse down until you see documentation. Open up that and then click on download the Hive. Let's first of all click on the overview because I want to see if it gives me some of the system requirements. So I might be here system requirements so you can see that there is a number of tools that are included in this is the hive cassandra and elasticsearch looking at the requirements as tcpu to gig ram now there is a number of different ways you can deploy this tool first of all it's supported on linux there is a number of different linux versions that are supported if you click in here you will see debian ubuntu red hat fedora in terms of install you can obviously install in linux you can also install a VAD docker which is the way we're going to do it today but if you look at the installation you can see there is an automated script. So if you wanted to install this on Linux VMs, you can just, or even on a single VM, you could run this automated script and that would install all the tools for you. If you look at the requirements, it says 4V CPUs and 16 gig of RAM. There is also this step-by-step -step guide. So if you wanted just to install one or two of the tools, you could do that. But for easiness for us in this lab, we do have Docker set up, so we are going to use that. So if we click on running with Docker. You can see here it gives you a docker compose file so we're going to log into pertainer we're going to copy this docker compose file in there and that will automatically deploy all of those tools in containers for us so let's just do that so i'm going to copy all of this i'm just going to copy that I'm going to go back to Portainer, so I'm going to log in here. I'm going to click on Stacks, and I'm going to click on Add New Stack. I'm just going to give this a name. The Hive Cortex. I'm going to simply just paste this in. Which is everything we had within the Docker Compose file. And then literally at the bottom, all you have to do is click Deploy. Like, this thing is so simple to deploy so you should start seeing some messages along the top right hand corner and see the stack has completed successfully so if we go to containers now you should see that there is a number of additional containers that that has created it has created each of these tools and you will see the various port numbers along the left hand side so let's first of all open up the hive so if you open up a new tab and then we're just going to type in the IP address, so 10.10.30.50, and it's port 9000. So this should open up the Hive. The default credentials to log into the Hive, you will find them on the website just below the Docker Compose information. So the username is admin at the hive.local, and the password is secret. So let's copy that. I don't see if so this is you logged into the admin end of the hive so the first thing i'm going to do here is create a new organization so i'm just going to create a new organization and it's called call mine jared brand jared org okay i'm just going to confirm so i'm going to open this and then I'm just gonna add a user within this organization. So I'm just gonna give a login. So I'm gonna call it geoadmin. I'm gonna add jerd.local. 
and also the name again is geoadmin for the profile i'm going to set this user as the org admin of the Jordan organization click that click confirm okay look at from in here now all you need to do is hover over the username hit on preview and i'm going to move down and i'm just going to create a password so set a new password and hit confirm Okay, done. There's other things we can do within this tool at the moment. So this is the back end. You can see there is the platform management where you can configure branding, the Cortex integration, MISP. There is a lot of other different things that you can do. I am not gonna run through all of the detailed config of the Hive on, in this video because I want to complete what we've done in Wazoo first. So you wanna get all of the logs, uh, everything ingested into Wazoo, and then eventually we will configure those alerts and everything we see in Wazoo to come into the Hive. That way they, we can create new cases and investigations and then integrate it with those other tools. But for now, all we have to do is, let's switch user, click log out. I'm gonna log in here as the the user account that we just created so and the password if you log in and save now you will see within here there is a few different options so all of the alerts everything that we have going into wazoo will eventually pop into here we'll see all the alerts and then we'll be able to create cases and investigations through here as well while we're here let's just go open a new tab and go to Cortex, it's port 9001. Update database list to run through this. So login, again, I'm gonna create this admin account we used previously. Create. Don't save. We're not gonna do too much in here because again, I want to make sure We've configured Wazoo on the Hive correctly before we start integrating with these other tools. But that is the Hive and Cortex. As you can see, they're really, really fast, simple, easy tool to deploy via Docker. So if you're following along, then this should be a quick, easy task that you need to do. In the next episode, we will do our expansion to the cloud. That episode might be delayed by a few weeks because I do need to buy a new firewall for my network and redesign my network. The network piece of that setup is a little bit complicated because I have an external firewall and an internal firewall, but we'll go through it all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.